Uh, this is not the real video part. Um, I know I just look really ugly. I'm not looking good right now. I'm in the editing mode, so I just finished the video editing on Tuesday night. And um, yeah, the video can be on one thing. They have show and tell Sunday, which is supposed to be on Sunday. So I'll try my best to do next time. I'm studying so much for exam. Um, so look at in the video now. Ooh, is this a good time to do this right now? <laughs> Be broth, okay. I don't even, I, I think this is my pregame, uh, pregame, whatever, or just, what is it called? What is it called? Uh, just a pregame, you know, motion or something like that. I have no idea. I'm just not thinking correctly right now. What is up, everybody? Uh, today is my first, uh, show and tell sunday like i said before in the previous video i don't know if you guys have seen my previous video yet um my previous video i was having a gopro update how to update your gopro hero 7 camera and that's at the end i was saying uh, all the about the future plan and stuff like that today is sunday show and tell sunday i'm very excited for that i'm loving to share my idea all my equipment my, maybe my steel, but I think show and tell is more of um equipment. So what's my first thing I'm gonna show and tell today? The first one I'm super excited to share with you guys. I think it's the greatest thing I ever bought. It's the travel camera backpack. I love this. I got this for about 90 bucks. I was trying to figure out what was my first uh, camera base should be. I was looking at the sizes. I was looking at the um, you know the quality, the reviews, and all that stuff. So, and then I found this, it's a pretty big because I love to travel. I want to start traveling as soon as possible. The company is right here, it's just a little company called Indirect. It's not very um, popular or anything. I don't think you guys have heard of it before. If you guys did, um, I'm proud of you or... So the first thing I'm going to show you, I'm just going to show you the outside right here. So you know, you know there's a zipper that's like very strong here. And then um, the other strong compartment up here. That like to protect all the little things that, that you can't break or anything. Clipping thing, I forgot what they call it. I call it just clip-on or whatever. It's just a clip-on, you know, like you can hang around your, um, you know, just, here, I'm going to grab it. So you just clip it on and then you can tighten it all you want. Just, Tighten it up and then that'd be perfect for a little, you know, mini, you know, tripod or whatever, gorilla pod or something like that. And, you know, and then on the side, right here, there's a bigger, um, you know, the uh, tripod or monopod or quad pod. Um, is there a quad pod? How would that work? A four leg of quad pod. Hmm. So, you know, you can put it right here and then you can tighten it. And another thing is, there's also another side where you can use, also use your monopod, tripod, quad pod. So you can put another one here. And there's another thing that's really cool about it. There's a little lash right here that you put in here. It's a little tough at first. Okay, so and then you put the other leg in here so it doesn't slide out of here, which is really awesome. That's what I like about it. This side doesn't have it, but this side has it. So yes, and then of course, there's a little bay where you can put your water bottles or batteries or whatever I just use them for my water bottles so as you see all the outside and another thing my favorite thing about this bag on the outside is this when you put it on and there's a little belt thing right here that you can snap it on and there are a little two small pouch right here what I would use it for is the battery so I put a um, you know like fully charged battery here and I put the dead battery here so it wouldn't so I wouldn't have to take my bag out and then search for the battery. So I just put it here instead of taking my bag off. I just unzip it right on my hip, grab the battery, change it, and then put my dead battery in the other compartment. And then as I open my own compartment, there's a lot of cushion right here that makes it very comfortable for your um, you know, hip right here. And then there's the compartment there's the cushion right here for your shoulders all the way up here. And then cushion right here for your back so it doesn't hurt your back at all. And another thing that is really cool about this bag, since this bag is so large. You know, it can be for any size person, like any tight, because there's a thing right here where you can unhook it, and there, this is a small, and then when you take it off, you take it, and there's all kind of size where you can put it through here to adjust the, you know, the shoulder strap and 
you know, the, the strap right here, you can adjust all these straps to your preference of size or make it more comfortable for you. So now we're going inside into the bag right now for insertion and siege right through it. I have nothing in here to siege through it, so we're just gonna search in this bag now. Look at rolling in here. It's just not a big compartment, it's just a smaller where you can put maybe your eternal hard drive. So yeah, this is a small compartment and it's I think it's just purpose size for it because I don't put much thing that I need to put in there to protection. So external hard drive would be for myself. And then a next compartment right here. There's a little bit small bag. It's not too big. So you can probably put your ND filter in here if you have a case or, you know, memory card, SD card, anything. Just a little thing. Just you need to click and grab. So it's kind of like a little bit. You know, where you put your pens and papers in there. And there's also a little compartment in front of her here. There's a, like a, a very strong compartment. It's just a little, all the hole in there, really soft. But then there's a, where you can put your, maybe your, I don't know, paperwork. I would put my note, I would usually put my notebook in there and pencil in there and just leave a compartment. I don't use that compartment very much, but I just put it for a notebook to, you know, write down the ideas and concepts that I want to make for the next video and stuff like that. All right, we're rolling to the bigger compartment down here below. And what I really love about this bag, there's, um, this is a two big compartment for the cameras in there. And then right in the middle here, there are the divider where you can divide the bigger compartment for upper compartment and below compartment. Also, you can take the divider out and then combine all the whole bag for one equipment. If you have like a long camera with, um, you know, the lens that's like maybe 200 millimeter or something like that. Cause it's really long. Do you want to take it off a camera? So you just slide the camera in there and you make, um, the divider like on the outside. So it would fit your camera with it, all your whole lens in there. So without taking the lens off of your camera. I use this compartment right here. There's a three divider right here. I use it for my GoPro equipment. So I would put my GoPro mouse here and I would put my other thing like GoPro mouse here. And then right in the middle, let me grab it quick. So I have a little like a mini camera bay for my GoPro with all the loose part and my cameras. So I don't have a hard time finding my part. So I just, Slide this thing right in the middle, perfectly. Just like a perfect fit right there, like a like a really good OCD or something like that. Just a few good feelings, like satisfaction or something like that. You just slide right in there. And then right here, there's um, the divider right here that I was talking about that you can poke through it and then, but I don't want to take it off because it fit in there perfectly. So I don't want to have, I'm not really good controlling all the Velcros and stuff like that. At last, this is my favorite big compartment for my Sony camera equipment and all the, you know, the little bit cleaning equipment. And it's just like, I think it's a huge compartment. There we go, that's what it looked like. And then first thing right here, there's a little soft padding right there. You can open it up and then you can put your laptop in there if it's small enough, maybe your iPad. My laptop is a uh, 15 inch, so it doesn't fit in there. But if you have an iPad, I think that would be a perfect thing or maybe a document or some paper worth that you don't want it to like, you know, all crumble up. So this would be a perfect, there's a little soft compartment right here that you can probably put your camera charger or your wallet or I don't know anything I, I'm just playing my preference my preference would be camera charger right here it would be a perfect spot so I can just grab it right away if I need to charge it or plug it in the power bank and you'd be already on the roll and you notice there are two zipper right here so you open this up and then this thing slide down and then this which your compartment is right here there's a next compartment and it gives you a lot of divider right here and then that's where I put my camera with the lens on right here so and then there's a little thing right here I'd use it for my rain cover. This bag does come along with the rain cover, which is awesome. And then there's a logo right on the out front of this. There's one more thing that I missed that I forgot about the inside of the big compartment of a backpack. Um, you know, remember the part I showed you with the iPad? There's also the laptop compartment I keep forgetting about. So you notice, let me run it this out so you can see. Okay, so you notice there's a compartment back here. But when you lift that compartment, there's a mini, uh, there's a mini laptop compartment where you can put your laptop right here in between these two, which fits all uh, 15, 15, I believe it fits up to a 15.5 inch right here. So that's another head up that I forgot. So I'm sorry, I forgot, but let's get back into the video. That was pretty much everything that I went through in this bag with you. The only thing I don't like about this bag is the color. 
you know, the lime green. I mean, I like it black. I really like it black, but I kind of wish these would be white colors, just the color. So this bag, if it's very useful for me, I would grab it. So I think I would post a link below where I got this bag from. I got it from Amazon. It would right be below for you guys if you want to check it out. It's my very first show and tell equipment and I think this would either to be the first to go because I'm very happy with this with this camera. Uh, just playing with the zipper. Let me just hook it up quick. There we go. So yeah, so I think you guys, if you are looking for a big traveling bag, stuff like that, this would be a good one to be on the roll. Oh, I was trying to figure out what was making a noise. My alarm is going off. My watch is ready. I don't want to over dry my shirt so I can't let it shrink. Son of a Okay, so I forgot where we were at. I think I was talking about the limp below for you guys about this base. So yes, it's gonna be limp below. It was that I bought it around 95 bucks, 90 bucks. So I think it's a great deal. I think this bag does a lot more than actual 90 bucks. I think I, that's my very first show and tell for today. Super excited what I'm trying I think I already have a collection of items that I want to show and tell with you guys. It won't be just camera equipment. It'll be with GoPro equipment. If you guys have any idea, like you notice something from each video that I'm making, editing or anything, just comment below if you want to know what I use for this specific situation and I'd be very happy to show and tell with that equipment and improve with it. I'm glad this is the first theory one down. Hopefully you guys would enjoy it and if you guys enjoy this video, I hope I'm seeing you guys pointing your thumbs up in the air. If you haven't, click on that subscribe button. If you already have, Crack and ring the bell to ring notification for you guys for my up future video of 2019 and so on. If you already have that bow check, I appreciate that. Thank you very much for supporting me and I don't know, you guys have, just have to wait for the next video comes up. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching again. I'm hoping you guys are um, having a fantastic day or night or whenever you're watching and hopefully you guys are smiling and so on and show me that smile for the next video. I will be waiting for that smile in the next video. Thank you very much.